Ann K. Ming, our ingredient detective, is here to share more tips for toxic free living. Last time she told us about what fragrance means on a product label. This time we're learning about something called PEGs. Oh my gosh, last time you were here, you totally blew me away with knowledge. So I need to know what is a PEG and why should I be avoiding yeah. it? <laughs> well, I'm so glad I get to be here again to yes. share another ingredient with you. And today is PEGs. So okay. PEG is otherwise known as polyethylene glycol. That does not sound like something I want on my face. Well, and it's not necessarily that it's bad up front, right? Uh -huh. Um, but it goes through this process where it's mixed with, it's a petroleum-based product, and it's myth, mixed with ethylene glycol. And um, often these PEGs are contaminated. Okay. So they've done studies where they tested over a hundred different natural or organic products. Yeah. And 46% came back contaminated with Ooh. either 1,4-dioxane, which is a known human carcinogen, or ethylene oxide. Okay. Ethylene oxide is actually what antifreeze is. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> so PEGs are used for so many different things. From our personal care to cosmetic products, it's used in industrial um, uh, manufacturing, it's okay. used in medicine. Um, some of the fun uses that I've found out are, it is what they fill paintballs with. Oh! Um, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> and, uh, it's very fascinating that they actually, um, archaeologists use PEGs to preserve artifacts that they unearth. Really? So if you think about that, we're putting that on our skin, which is our largest organ. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the reasons that manufacturers use PEGs, not only is it more cost effective, um, but it's known to enhance the penetration of other ingredients in the product. Okay. So a PEG necessarily by itself isn't necessarily necessarily bad it could right. be contaminated but if it's in the presence of other harmful ingredients then it's it making it those go. penetrate even yeah. further. yeah okay so i see that it sounds like they put it in there for a good reason to help make the product penetrate better but then it could also cause harmful things to get deeper into our skin yeah and okay. for 50 percent of the time the PEGs are contaminated with a known carcinogen. Yeah. And there is an easy, and it's not necessarily expensive way to strip the products of these carcinogens, mm -hmm. but because the FDA has zero regulation over our personal care product industry, yeah. they don't, we don't, consumers don't necessarily know when the PEGs are safe or not oh, safe. Oh, I get that. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I feel so very enlightened. <laughs> um, thank you for sharing that information about PEGs. I'm going to process that. <laughs> and, you know, I can't wait till the next time. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Thanks, Anne.